In today's video, we're checking out the Dallas World Aquarium, the best fish shops in Dallas, and I'm taking you guys with me on my first visit to Aquashella. A couple of weeks ago, I spent a few days in Dallas, Texas, and whenever I'm visiting a new city, I always check immediately if they have a zoo or if they have an aquarium. So in Dallas, you have the World Aquarium and with almost 25,000 reviews and 4.4 stars, this one looked very promising. Tickets are $30 for adults and funny story, somehow my European credit card didn't work. So they actually let us in for free, so that was really nice. Now honestly guys, this place is amazing. It's called an aquarium, so I was kind of just expecting some sharks and some salt water, maybe some freshwater display things as well. But this was actually a proper zoo. On the top floor, they had all kinds of birds and monkeys and even flamingos. And as we made our way down, it got even more exotic with frogs, snakes, and even alligators. And of course, the main event for most people is the shark tunnel. And here in Dallas, they also had some really beautiful and massive sawfish. Then even further down, they had a whole separate area with all kind of saltwater display things. And these were actually really good, they kind of surprised me. Normally when you go to a zoo, the saltwater display things are a little bit so-so. Usually they have a lot of fake coral, a lot of scratches on the acrylic. But these things were in top condition. And a lot of live coral, a lot of beautiful fish, and the fish look really healthy as well. I'm a freshwater guy and I was hoping to see some planted tanks as well. And we had to search for a little bit, but we finally found a really big one. Before we went to the aquarium, I actually got a message from a guy, I think his name is Ryan, who said that he, he built and maintains a 1000 gallon planted tank in the zoo. So we were looking for it, but couldn't find it. Turns out that this area was kind of closed off because they had a lot of school trips um, and they just kind of didn't want the, those kids to come into this area. So that's why it was closed off. That's why we couldn't find it. But after asking around, we managed to, to get in. And this is the only tank in this space and it's quite a large space, but guys, this, this tank is beautiful. So it should be a thousand gallons. I think he told me that it's eight foot long and four foot tall and four foot deep as well. I think it's about 4,000 liters, I guess. In the foreground, we have really nice carpet with um, dwarf hair grass. And then the layout is actually kind of built in, in layers. So behind the hair grass, we have a section with, uh, with gravel, and then it's kind of built up towards the back. Both the sides are densely planted as well. On the left side, we have a huge, huge clump of uh, java fern. On this side, we have some nice Java moss and Hygrophila pinatifida. There's a really huge focal point with this um, Amazon sword. And then the fish, the, we have a huge group of the Harlequin rasboras. And then there's some Threadfin rainbows in here as well. And the Threadfin rainbows, I have, I have Threadfin rainbows at home as well. They're a lot smaller and <laughs> in this big tank, they're massive. Actually, unfortunately, Ryan is not here, but I would have loved to see what kind of equipment is running on this tank. You know, what kind of lights he's running, what kind of filtration. So all in all, the Dallas World Aquarium was really good, really surprised me, and only $30. So if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend you pay them a visit. So next thing on the to-do list was checking out some fish shops in the Dallas area. And you guys always tell me that the fish shops in Europe are way better than in the US. So I had to go and see that for myself. So first up, we have Dallas North Aquarium. It's a really good sized store with, I would say, 50-50 fresh water and salt water. 
They had a really good collection of corals and saltwater fish. Freshwater was also looking good, but some fish were like in really small tanks. I saw a lot of plastic plants, a lot of like this colored gravel, so didn't really like that that much, but overall a really good store. Now, while I was walking around the store, I bumped into a guy with a very familiar face. So it was really nice to finally meet MD in real life. Um, we only talked for a few minutes, but he was a really funny guy. A lot of you guys asked if we were gonna do a collaboration. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but MD, if you're watching this, if you're ever in Amsterdam again, you're very welcome to come to my studio and set up a tank here. The next stop is the fish gallery. I think this is a store with multiple locations. I think this one was the biggest one, I'm not sure. But this store was more focused on fresh water. They had a little bit of salt as well, and also a little bit of koi and pond stuff. But this shop had some amazing display tanks, as well as a massive tree in the middle of the store. It's kind of funny. And what I really liked about the fish gallery was the racking system. Never really seen anything like that, but looked really good. It's really clean, really organized, and yeah, really healthy fish as well. Now, if I have to compare these two shops to the shops that we have in the Netherlands, I would say they're actually quite similar. I think the biggest difference is the variety of plants. Like over there, I didn't see any tissue culture plants. And the potter plants, like the variety was just not very big. And they mostly had the standard stuff, you know, like anubias, java ferns, wadisneria, but not really, yeah, just not really a huge variety of plants. Then on to the main event, Aquashella. Now this was my first time, and for those of you who have never heard of Aquashella or have never been, it's basically a trade show for end consumers. So you have loads of shops selling fish, uh, selling plants, selling corals, but also reptiles like snakes and spiders. And then besides that, you have experts giving talks and presentations, you have contests, just loads more. Okay guys, we're at Aquashella. It's actually the second day already. Yesterday I spent the day at the booth of Aperture. I did a little live demo to promote uh, Beer Rush Fresh. Uh, now Aperture is mostly about salt water and they have something really, really exciting which I want to show you guys. So you guys know that I started a reef tank, my first reef tank about a year ago. And I kind of had to like do everything from scratch, do all my, do, do my research. But the guys from Aperture, they came up with a solution for that, right? Yes, we did. It is the Hello Reef Kit. Uh, what it is, it's a 15 gallon reef tank. Uh, and it literally comes with everything you need. Mm -hmm. So it includes the AI blade light and includes the aqua forest salt, carob sea rock, carob sea sand, the refractometer for testing your salinity, yeah. heater, pumps, literally everything you need to get started. The only thing you need is to add water. Yes, the only thing you need is water. We couldn't figure out an easy way to ship water. And as you know, online as a content creator, yep. there's so much information out there from so many different people mm -hmm. and so many different ways to do things. So we wanted to make that simple. We created a six week course with about 60 videos that goes and walks you through step by step, day by day, week by week on how to easily maintain and set up a saltwater fish tank. Yeah, this is really cool as well. We're at the Fuvo Live Aquascaping Competition. This guy's actually started two days ago on Friday. Uh, I think yesterday was planting and then today is judging. The, the winners will be t announced today at noon, so a few more hours to go. But let's just kind of walk around, let's have a look at some of the tanks. This one is really cool, number six. The person who skated used a lot of dragon stones. And I'm surprised by uh, the clarity of the tank. The water is really clear, looks really good. The one next to that is really cool as well. This person used some really red stone that I've actually never seen before. And they actually painted the background, something I've never seen before, but it's a cool touch. They painted some, I think, it's supposed to resemble clouds. Okay, so they just announced the winners for the Fluval Aquascaping Competition. Let's have a look at the top three. The third place is right here. Really nice island style composition with serious stone and some driftwood, a different variety of stems in the background. Number two is a triangle composition with the red rocks and the, uh, the painted background, really nice. And of course, number one is the tank with all the dragonstone. Definitely uh, a deserved winner, in my opinion. 
I want to end this video by saying thank you to all of you guys who came to see me at Aquashella. It was really nice to meet all of you there. And I also want to say thank you to the guys from Aperture uh, who let me skip the tanks on their booth and just for taking care of us while we were in Dallas. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.